At first, a Kraus Symphony Orchestra looks and sounds like an orchestra you'd find anywhere in the world. But listen closely and you'll realise that something is different. Alongside Rossini, you'll find Feller. Conductor Benedictus Akalatse has set himself a challenge to reinterpret some of the best-known African hits using orchestral instruments African ladies, you are dancing. and opera singers. It's not been very easy, but it's very achievable. We have been able to prove that you can use these instruments to play the African way and have the same feel that you would have had where if you're using African instruments. Having the, the violin, for example, playing, if you listen to the song I just did, it was very percussive. They were, they were not playing a very melodic role, but playing a very percussive role. The orchestra's unique style has attracted musicians from across West Africa. Slim Bright Amoako's career, though, started closer to home. For years, he played the trumpet in a dance hall band in Accra. He swapped instruments and hasn't looked back. His old bandmates frequently come to watch him play. They all do appreciate what I've done because they've not been able to do what I've done. They, 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 they limit themselves to that place, you see, but I wanted to go higher. So, in fact, they all advise, advise me to carry on and then uh, lift up the I mean, that Even if you are from there, you can be here also. It isn't easy to build a symphony orchestra in Ghana. Quality instruments are difficult, if not impossible, to find. And things like replacement strings have to be shipped in from overseas, which takes time. But this is a determined group getting ready now for their biggest concert to date, taking place later this month in Accra. <laughs> The orchestra has been together for four years. Funding comes from patrons and ticket sales. Nigerian singer Uche Noabuezi believes their style is starting to win over fans. Well, this is kind of revolutionary. It's a new invention for West Africa. Sometimes I could remember, sometimes when I stay at home and I sing, people will be like, okay, you have a very wonderful voice, it's very thrilling, but it's strange. So I get it most of the time, but it's very welcome. People are beginning to welcome it. Ghana has a rich local heritage with traditional styles and music like high life and palm wine still dominating. But these musicians want to start a classical renaissance. And they're doing it with style. Katarina Vitozzi, CCTV, Accra, Ghana.